So King Midas absolutely loved his newfound power. He started touching all sorts of stuff. Flowers, chairs, naughty boats! No, no motorboats in ancient Greece, I'm afraid. <laughs> now then, all was fine and dandy until it came time to eat. At dinner, everything King Midas tried to eat turned into gold before he could bite into it. Oh, did he turn his carrot into 24 carrot? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, he did. Same with his wine, his steak, his orange. La, 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 la. Honestly, that's probably the best story time contribution you've ever made, Orange. Ah, thanks, Pear. Glad to know you like my input. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> uh, after a while, King Midas started to become unhappy with his golden touch. But the final straw was when he hugged his daughter without thinking. Wait, you mean she turned orange? Lucky kid. No, she was not lucky. Wait, you mean she turned orange? Lucky kid! No, she was not lucky, because... Sure she was! If I know orange, and I do, she was instantly the coolest kid at school! I mean, anyone who can touch their tongue to their eyeball is sure to be the most popular pimple! <laughs> ah. Anyway, King Midas regretted his wish and begged and begged Dionysus to take it back. Eventually he did, and King Midas returned to normal. But the things he touched didn't turn back, and they remained awesome! No! Yeah, and King Midas lived the rest of his days surrounded by his new orange friends, motorboating, nyan nyan, and kazooing until the end of time! Yeah, This is terrible! Oh, and don't forget the TNT! <laughs> the end!